the idea would be to develop some type of a kit or technique, which I've been developing right now and thinking about it, how I should do this. Uh, celluloid crown, crown forms would be obviously the best. This seemed to work okay. See, there's a little line where the layered material goes on, so in the future I might do it a different way. First, just doing the entire facial aspect. Now, there we go. Yes, that looks pretty good. It fits right. In fact, you can see it fits comfortably right into the model. It actually wedges between um, wedges between the central and the lateral incisor in this situation. I put it in a certain fashion. This would be the ideal. You'd be able to. Uh, I thought of another name called Tacka Bridge, but my wife said that that was a little bit tacky. So I'm using an idea of Bridget. So that, uh, there it is. Maybe I'll hone in on that myself with the camera. There, you can see a better view of it. This is the, the um, prefabricated Pontic made of composite. The model, as you can see, it fits right into that space. Not exactly, but that'll be quite easy to tack. We simply used a pink wax, soft pink wax, heated it, and then molded it on the preliminary model to develop a pontic or a pre, I guess what would we call it, a pre-treatment pontic. Perhaps that would be the best name. So I'm going to build the stent we do that by taking some Exaflex putty and kneading it until it's ready and I have the model pre-impression we took last night, Mr. Stricker. And we will build a stent. Or a stent. call it and place it on the tongue side, getting it around the linguals of the other teeth, and then bringing it through the space area, always keeping it low at the cervical, the teeth will be working with. shaving, basically, the material so that the pontic that we had will sit in very nicely. Right in this area. And then I'll be able to veneer or tack into place the bridge build up the lingual, attach it to the lingual much as you would a ceramic bridge fused to the teeth. So this will be done in this appointment. We've got this
Then after the stint is completed, I'll remove this from the model. Usually I make it in the mouth, but uh, not today. Down along the very cervical neck of the abutment teeth that will be fused to. You can also trim this once it's set. It's set a little bit slower outside the mouth, but that's basically it. And you'll have the pontic placed right in there, and it will be tacked in this appointment together. Build a little um, It's still fused there, it looks like. It's construction. Okay. Fusing. Hearing material to the teeth, and this is an adhesive polymer that I use. It smells a little bit uh, funny, perhaps, like acetone. 